So with us, uh, you know, a lot of things hanging the balance here. They've shut down for the immediate time being a University of Maryland, Baltimore. There's a big Baltimore Orioles game uh, tonight. You mentioned the one last night that was disrupted where people tried to leave and, and couldn't. It wasn't very safe. Uh, but this game tonight, Much more well, difficult. And if you what do you do? I mean, how would you advise that? Would you advise the Orioles cancel play tonight? What? Well, for the safety of the fans, I think they're going to have to, unfortunately. Uh, public safety comes first. But, you know, Neil, the thing that, like Baltimore, like Ferguson, like New York, and many other areas where failed liberal government policies have led to uh, high unemployment, chronic poverty, failing schools, this is what besets the Baltimore area. 90% of the homicide victims in the Baltimore area are black, and as are 90% of the suspects. That's a bigger problem than Freddie Gray. And I'm not trying to dismiss the, 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 the death of Freddie Gray, but these individuals that are rioting and looting right now and throwing rocks and bottles do not know Freddie Gray, do not care about Freddie Gray, and if they were in a nightclub in Baltimore, would shoot and kill him for bumping into them on the dance floor. And I don't think that that is an overstatement because we've seen that sort of thing here in the Milwaukee area. Just the slightest provocation. And these individuals are so willing to settle disputes with violence. That's what we're seeing play out here right now in Baltimore.